Hey, I'm Laura, and recently I got the opportunity to go to Texas and visit the set of the hit series The Chosen. Ahead of season three, I spoke with some of the cast and crew of the series to get their thoughts on the new season and what it's like playing such iconic figures. I hope you enjoy. Jordan, thank you so much for chatting with us today. Really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for being here. You play little James. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your character. So little James on The Chosen is... Um, like myself, he has a disability. Uh, I have cerebral palsy and scoliosis. And Dallas Jenkins, the creator of The Chosen, uh, decided to embrace that aspect of me and make it part of my character. Uh, so playing little James is very cathartic. Uh, it's helped me learn to love and accept myself a little bit more and come to the realization that just because I'm different doesn't mean I'm broken. And I really hope that uh, that's what audiences are able to to take away from Little James as well. How important is it to you as an actor to be able to bring who you are into the characters that you play and see that kind of representation on screen? Yeah, I think it's so important uh, to see representation in, in pop culture and uh, in faith-based projects in particular. I think that it's having a, a disabled character that doesn't get healed is is so unique because normally if, if you're watching a, a movie or a show about Jesus, if there's a character with a disability, they're going to be healed at some point. Um, and I've had a lot of fans reach out and say things like, oh, I can't wait until little James gets healed. I'm like, well, you may be waiting for a while um, because in order for little James to be healed, I would also have to be healed. And I'm not counting anything out, but I'm also not expecting it. And I, that's okay because not everyone gets healed. Mm -hmm. And I think that the relationship between faith and healing is so interesting. And uh, I think what The Chosen is doing with that is is challenging people's uh, ideas of, of what it means to be healed and what type of healing you really need. Um, and I, I think that I'm, it, it's so important to to ask those difficult questions, and I'm so honored to be a, a small part of that. Right, and you're certainly, you certainly are going to be playing a part in people's questioning and, and the wrestles that they have with what it looks like to be healed and yeah. why some people do or don't you know, get the thing that they're believing for. How have you worked through those questions in your own life as you've processed some of that reality? It's been a long journey uh, of, of self-acceptance for me. I, I you know, went through a lot of bullying in high school. Uh, I, by the time I was 10, I had gone through seven major surgeries and, um, you know, there, there was a lot of, of uh, adversity growing up uh, in the film industry. You know, I, I had pr found my passion for acting at a really young age uh, and I knew from age six on that this is what I wanted to do with my life. Mm -hmm. And then as I got more into the film industry and, and uh, pursuing it further and further, I, it felt like I was never going to be able to see my full potential because of this curse that I had been given. I thought of as a curse, at least. Um, and then when Dallas Jenkins embraced it, it forced me to be more vulnerable than I had ever been. Uh, but in doing that, it helped me to stop seeing it as a my limp, as a, a weakness. Mm -hmm. And now I see it as you know a thing that sets me apart, a thing that... Uh, it can be an asset, a thing that I can use to inspire others. And uh, I, I've seen the reaction from fans of, of The Chosen. A lot of people have kind of taken that, that same idea and been able to say, hey, you know, my limp, whatever their limp may be, mm -hmm. um, is, is something that I can use to my advantage as well. And I, I'm, I'm just so proud of, of that aspect. It, it really is, you know, the, the role of a lifetime. And I love what you've done with this idea of a limp and each of us having a limp, you've got a podcast called What's Your Limp? Yeah. It helps people process some of these things that do make each of us a little bit different. Right. For that person who does feel insecure about whatever it might be, whether it's a personality trait, a physical trait, anything, what would you say to them to help them embrace that thing that does make them a little bit different? I would say to the people who, you know, feel different and are struggling with that, um, different doesn't mean broken. And that they, you know, one thing that, that I came to the realization of is I, I have so many friends that have disabilities or things that make them different. Um, and I love those things that make them different. 
And I never really considered that they might love the things that make me different too. I, I saw the things that make me different and, and I hated those things. You know, I would walk past a reflective surface and see my limp and I would feel shame and embarrassed. Uh, but then, you know, I'd, I'd have friends that talked about how they, they loved my limp. It's something that, that made me who I am. And uh, a big thing for me was becoming a father and, and thinking of, you know, I, I asked my oldest daughter, who's seven, uh, a, a little while ago, if I walked different, if I walked quote unquote normal, um, how, how would you feel about that? And she hated the idea of me walking any different than I walk now. Mm-hmm. So if, if these people who I love can accept me for who I am, then why can't I accept myself for who I am? Yeah. Um, so I, I just want to say that like we're all our own worst critic. But try to view yourself through the lens of others, um, the people that love you most, and uh, hopefully that can help you see, you know, the the beauty and the things that make you different. And little James's character, of course, is so much more than just that particular aspect of who he is. Yeah. What does he teach us about Jesus and and the relationship that you two share on screen? Yeah, little James. I think one of the things I really love about the character is. He has a, a servant's heart. He really does love and, and care about others and wants to serve others and, and help others. Uh, he's incredibly empathetic and, and uh, he's a peacekeeper. Um, but he, uh, you know, also this season and season three, there, there is a little bit of the frustration bubbling up and resentment. And he has a literal come to Jesus meeting um, where he gets to confront him and say, you know, why aren't you healing me when you're healing these other people? So you'll see his relationship with Jesus transform a bit in season three. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited for, for people to see the direction that it goes. And we are so excited to see it. So Jordan, thank you for your time talking to us about it of today. Of course, yeah, thank you for coming. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, Vanessa Benevente, who plays Mother Mary, talks to us about what makes The Chosen so unique. I think this show, what, what they do so well is they concentrate on um, on their human human aspects of, of these of these characters of these of these people so whether you believe she is one thing or another you can't argue that uh she played a role in this in 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 jesus's life